Well, talking about history, it could be an amazing night for Scotland, Brandon. Absolutely, Andrea. Yes, a very good evening to you all. The stage is set in Seville. In just a few hours' time, Scotland will take on Spain, knowing all too well that just a single point will guarantee them a place at next summer's European Championships. Manager Steve Clark is confident his team will get a result if they play to their highest level. They'll be cheered on by a cohort of over 4,000 fans who've travelled to the Andalusian city. From Spain, here's Chris Harvey. The Scotland fans are here in Seville and they are ready to party. They always say no Scotland, no party. They're hoping for that vital point tonight that will see them on the plane to Germany next summer. Belief. That's what the Tartan Army have in 2023. Belief this Scotland team can qualify for Euro 2024 by getting the result they need against Spain here in the heat of Seville tonight. More than 4,000 fans are ready to cheer on Steve Clark's boys in dark blue. But do Scotland attack or defend? I, I'm, a, I'm a big Craig Levine fan myself, so I want us to just defend. The 4 6 0 come back tonight wouldn't, wouldn't bore me a bit. If we go out and we attack the game and we approach it properly, we'll win the game. They're, they're a team of fighters. The way he's got them set up, the, the, the shape is, is very different. I, I don't think the Spanish will be used to that in their own backyard. Take the point, we'll take the point. If we get a result, Secure it's it. take, take a point there. The players arrived late yesterday, but this afternoon spent a few moments enjoying the Seville sunshine clearing their minds ahead of what could be one of the biggest matches in Scotland's footballing history. We're aware of, of what it would mean. Um, it's not actually really been mentioned. There's been a, a real kind of steely focus from the boys. But we're focused on the job. We know there's still work to do to try and get um, qualifications secured. So, Group A table looks good for Scotland. Five wins from five and six points clear of Spain. A win or draw tonight will guarantee qualification or if Norway slip up against Cyprus. You want to be able to go away to difficult places and get positive results. Uh, we've managed to do that reasonably consistently over the, the, last, the last few years. But we understand that it's going to be a difficult game tomorrow. But we don't come here thinking that we have to sit in and defend all night. We have to be as effective with the ball as we were at Hamden. Well, spirits are high here among the Scotland fans as we creep towards kickoff in Seville. Will it be Scotland smiles or Spanish tears? We'll find out at full time. Chris Harvey, STV News in Seville. Well, after losing to Scotland at Hampden in March, Spain have responded in emphatic fashion. They thrashed Georgia 7-1 and hammered Cyprus 6-0 in their next two Euro qualifiers. And speaking to the media last night, the Spanish manager insisted his side aren't out for revenge and admitted Scotland have improved since their last meeting. I don't see it as a revenge. I see it as a game of football. We've got the obligation to win. It's our responsibility professionally because we represent the whole country. It's not a revenge. It's a football game. It's very important, but it's a football game. Scotland keeps improving because they have great footballers. I think tomorrow we're going to find a better Scotland. And wait till you see this, Andrea. Just in the last few minutes, we've been sent this footage from Seville. The Tartan Army marching en masse to the stadium. Looks like it's going to be some party, doesn't it? Hopefully we can get the result. Oh, surely, Brandon. One point. Come on, Scotland. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, well, before we go, here's Philip with the weather.